The following video is a four-part series dedicated to showing the proper fitting and installation of the Ella Cultured Marble Shower Base and Wall System. Please follow all local and state building codes and always wear proper protective equipment. Always consult or employ licensed and bonded professional installation contractors. Measure carefully to determine the plumbing position and create plenty of access. In this case, the drain is 16 inches from the shower wall and 16 inches from the back wall. The base is 59 inches wide and we've created a 60 inch wide pocket. The marble base is extremely heavy. Get adequate help to move it carefully into position. Push the shower base carefully in, leaving about a half inch clearance from the back wall to accommodate flanges. Mask off the rim of the shower base to protect it from dirt, scratches, and other potential damage. Cut a piece of cardboard to fit into the pan for complete protection of the base. Clean the base thoroughly before placing the cardboard protection plate down. This shower base comes with a flange kit for proper fitting and to prevent water leakage. Run a bead of silicone caulk down the lower third of the flange, keeping about an inch to an inch and a half above the shower base. Place the flange carefully against the back side of the shower base, making sure you have a good seal. Overlap the edge slightly so the flange will seal correctly at the corners. Slide the base in so it's snug against the flanges. Add a bead of silicone caulk after the base is set. You may require shims for a tight fit for the flanges. Use as many cardboard shims as needed to secure a tight fit and then tack them into place. Place a bead of silicone caulk on the cardboard shim so it seals tightly against the back side of the flange. Run a bead of silicone caulk down the lower third of the flange. Slide the shims carefully into position, leaving one to one and a half inches of clearance from the top of the base. Run another bead of silicone caulk, sealing the base and the flange. Make sure there are no gaps in your bead of silicone. Repeat the same process for the other side using the proper amount of shims and sealing with a bead of silicone caulk. Always keep a clean work area. Make sure to clean up residual silicone seepage with denatured alcohol. 